Welcome back. It's our third installment now of the Dash for Amazon on the closing bell. Back in January, Amazon narrowed down candidates for its second headquarters to 20 cities and regions. Now we've turned to the mayors, CEOs, and local celebrities from those cities to make their elevator pitch for HQ2. 14 cities have sent in their pitches, and the videos will be posted online following their pitch on TV here. And then you can vote for your favorite cities. In the coming weeks, our cities will go head-to-head -head on Tuesdays and Thursdays until the voting whittles the list down to, yes, the final four. Last week, we had you pick between Pittsburgh and Philadelphia, and your votes are in. Hey, here we go. Even though both of our judges chose Philly, Mike, 75% of our viewers chose Pittsburgh, so the Iron City is heading into the next round. I'm not going to take credit for that. <laughs> yeah, did, were you one of that I picked Pittsburgh. You did. Now for round three, we have one of the ultimate rivalries. New York is facing off against Boston. So let's get to New York first with New York Deputy Mayor Alicia Glenn. New York is a global capital of commerce, culture, and innovation. This is where tech, advanced manufacturing, entertainment, all the sectors where Amazon is growing its business, collide to create new ideas. And to fuel that cycle of innovation, we have the biggest, most dynamic, and diverse pool of talent in the nation. There are more than 2.3 million New Yorkers with a bachelor's degree. Trust me when I tell you that's more than DC, Boston, San Francisco, and Philadelphia combined. We have an incredible array of colleges, universities, and boot camps that can train the ready-to-work talent the technology firms like Amazon need. And on top of all of that, we're in New York City, where you can walk, bike, subway, or take a ferry between incredible neighborhoods, where the best in food, fashion, culture are, are part of our funky DNA. I love how New York also has the best production values of anybody of we've seen yes. so far. But the whole film office. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Let's see how Boston does, though. David Portnoy, who's founder of the popular sports and lifestyle blog, Barstool Sports, does the honors. So I heard Amazon is deciding where to put their new headquarters. Bunch of big cities, New York, Chicago, whatever. I moved my company from Boston to New York. Biggest mistake I've ever done in my life. New York is a cesspool. You can't even see the sky. Everyone's miserable. See this weather, rain, 24-7. You can't go anywhere without seeing flashing lights. Boston has beautiful parks, grass. It's always beautiful out. The people are in great mood. The sports teams win unlike here. There's no brainer. The biggest mistake I've ever done is move Barcel Sports from the hub of the universe to this trash city. If Amazon knew what they were doing, they wouldn't make the same mistake I did. Boston is a no-brainer. I can't wait to get back. That is coming from a guy who made the worst mistake ever. It's Boston and nowhere. It's the only place to be. Totally not credible doing it from New York. By the way, love that it's on the iPhone. I, yes. like, I think these negative pitches might be my new favorite thing here. We should have a, a whole right. thing going with these. Attacking New York. Should that, be a takedown. That's half of there that. should be a takedown contest. Uh, now that we've heard the pitches, let's bring in our panel of judges and see what they think. We've asked them each to rate these pitches based on tax incentives offered, city fundamentals, and that X factor. Uh, five points apiece for a total of 15. Joining us are Jason Larry, the mayor of Stonecrest, Georgia, whose town made a bid for Amazon, and Wendy Davis, the former Texas state senator. Welcome to you both. Uh, mayor, we'll just Hello, start sir. with you. Who, uh, who wins this one for you? Oh, hands down, New York wins this. And let me tell you, uh, as far as Boston is concerned, I used to live in Boston, working for EMC Corporation, beautiful town. And they take this person and their one minute of fame and they kill it. They talk about New York, <laughs> didn't say anything about Boston whatsoever. It's unbelievable. So he said their teams uh, win, terrible. Jason. Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> New, Which, you New know, York hands down. Sore spot for New Yorkers lately. All right, uh, Wendy, what about you? Well, with all due respect to the mayor, I'm going to have to come down in favor of Boston. The challenge that New York is facing, not only the high cost of living there, but the fact that they really have not wanted to offer any special tax incentives for HQ2 to be there. They also had a problem just a few hours after being announced as one of the 20 finalists with Mayor de Blasio talking about the destructive force that Amazon has had on communities. It's sort of where the left meets the right with what President Trump has been saying lately. And Boston, of course, is willing to put a lot of money forward. They gave $150 million in tax incentives for GE to be there. They have a very talented workforce, and I think they're going to be extremely aggressive about trying to bring right. Amazon's HQ2. 
I have to say, um, as somebody who's from New York and lives here, I want to persuade uh, anybody who thinks it should be in New York that we don't need it and we should we should probably <laughs> put it to Boston. You don't want it here. No, you I don't. want Boston to win. I do. Yeah. <laughs> and I think that the New York brand is you come here because you're drawn here, not because we asked you to come. All right, Mayor. And what do you think? Is there any? Does New York is New York too? Does New York really need Amazon? Well, uh, it's a matter of desire, probably more so than need. And uh, what they did that was smart is they talked about what they had with regards to their offerings, their transportation, their talent, their education. Those are the things that Amazon was looking for. Um, yeah. And the, the, the pitch man from Boston didn't do that. All right. Well, it's a tie between New York and Boston with our judges, although we'll kind of throw Mike into the Boston category. And uh, we thank you both for joining us, Jason Larry and Wendy Davis. Thanks. And then you can cast your vote for your favorite city and dash for uh, dash for Amazon.cnbc.com. That's the website to go and do it and tell us who you think should come out ahead on this round. Hey there. Thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.